Welcome back once again as we continue with Coach K's Basketball and Beyond and a very special edition for Team USA as we're in New York. And, and Coach, a young man joins us now that it, eh, not a bad shot with about 53 seconds left in Game <laughs> 7 of the Finals. I think he can get the job done for you. Well, he's, he, gets, he can get the job done <laughs> for a lot of people. But, you know, I wanted to ask you before talking about winning is a year ago, you're, are you in hospital at that time? Mm-hmm and you're watching the finals. And now a year later, what the contrast the two, and then how did you get to the position you're in where you're in great shape now, overcoming that injury? And let me remind everybody, joining us is Kyrie Irving. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, um, I, this was the biggest growth year yeah. that, I, that I had to have, just from the standpoint of uh, things coming easy to me. At, a very young age and as I've gotten older um, and I've watched of a lot of great people and have great mentors in my corner um, understanding that um, the way I envision myself being as a, as a man will ultimately decide how great my career can be for myself mm -hmm. and how developed I am and how mature I am mentally in order to deal with what's gonna happen in the future so being in the hospital watching the finals um, being down and out and facing adversity, true adversity that, uh, you know, not that I haven't faced adversity in my life before, but this was a little bit different. It's just a lot more reading, a lot more studying, a lot more time that was spent, you know, working on myself so I can be better for other people. How did, but the, you know, like the, the NBA season is so long, like total number of games, there's 82 regular pre, mm -hmm. preseason and the playoffs. Uh, like, when did you start hitting stride during the season? Like, how long did it take you to where you felt you were at the level you should be at? I felt I was as close as I was going to be to the level that I wanted to be at um, after the Chicago game. I think it was our third to last game huh. of the regular season going into the playoffs. And after that Chicago game, I... I took a step back. I reached out to a few people, um, asked a lot of questions, getting ready for our championship run to right. prepare myself for it. And then we played Atlanta at home, and it was our second to last game, I believe. And from that point on, it was a really, 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 really incline. Well, the playoffs, the playoffs, you were really the best guard in the league. And... Do you did you feel that like when you walked out on the court and could back it up at that time? I I felt it and I knew it. Mm -hmm. I started to believe it. Yeah. And once that happened, then everything started to to really start to make sense. The the countless hours in the gym, countless hours of studying, um, and just really just educating myself on being better. It yeah. just all started to come to fruition. The thing I noticed. In the in the playoffs, especially in the Warriors, with the, against the Warriors, was your defense mm -hmm. like well, you? So now you're playing defense and the offense. So the level of conditioning mm -hmm. now that's got to be at a different level, right? Yeah, and it's a lot more fun. A lot more fun oh, to I, be. I was hoping you would at some time. I, I only got to coach at Webbing. Yeah. <laughs> you would say that you love playing defense. No, no, it's it's just so much fun. Oh, because okay. now it's now when you. <laughs> <laughs> well, coach, I think you know. It just when you're at that high level of conditioning, you you're able to yeah, do it yeah. on both ends on the floor. It's it's a lot more fun. It's a lot better for your team. The pace that you can play at is even higher than the other teams. Right, right. And there are no longer uh, empty possessions that you feel like you haven't impacted yeah. something for your team in order to be put, you got, put us in a position to win. So it could be a hit in the lane, you're hitting a big, it can be you're chasing someone around for 24 seconds, or it could be something as small as setting a gray screen for someone, and it really matters, and you can do it at the highest level that you know you can then, I mean, you can look yourself in the mirror and be completely fine with the results because, you know, you're leaving it all out there. So we, now we're in the finals, and it's the fifth game. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you guys are down 3-1, to one, and really people are – there's a lot of dirt on your grave right now. Yeah. And uh, you and LeBron put together this 
crazy performance. Mm. Uh, what what was it like? Two guys scoring over forty points, and really in a three to one, you're down. Mm -hmm. Like what was what happened? How did it, what happened during that game? Um, there's a thing called fight or flight. Okay. That I'm very aware of, um, and I'm also knowing the character that I was built with uh, around the people that I've met throughout my life that I've been influenced by. And <clears throat> in that moment, you had to make a decision about what was going to be the outcome that you wanted to happen and how were you going to deal with all the scenarios, win-loss, or how the game was going to flow. You never know sometimes in games like that. And I knew that if we came out and on the first possession of the game, me and Ron set the tone, and the rest of the team was going to follow. And if we had to carry everyone, I know I was okay with it. And I know right. Brown was okay with it. So once we made that decision, then game, you know, f honestly, from game three, four, five, six, and seven, we knew that if we put the pressure back on them and right. they saw that this was not going to be an easy fight, that we weren't going to go down without, uh, without swinging, then I think the, tie, the momentum started to change. You know what? Uh Every once in a while, I'll text you or whatever, mm -hmm. and obviously we want you to do great. And I text you after uh, the, you're down three to one mm -hmm. because I, I didn't know. I said, do you want to talk or whatever? And you come back and said, uh, and it was great. It says, Coach, I'd, let's talk after the finals. And uh, when I got it, I, I sent back, I said, great. You know? And I told my wife, Mickey, I said, they're going to win. This kid, hey, this guy, <laughs> you're a kid. I'm 69 <laughs> years old, for Christ's sake. Uh, uh, this kid, he's focused right now. Okay, now, game, and you did that. Mm -hmm. uh, game seven, it's 89-89, and both teams have, they can't score. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a timeout, and what, is gone, what goes on in that timeout? Because what comes on... What, com what comes on? We're getting a cheerleading. Yeah. Uh, what comes on? <laughs> what comes on uh, at that time is 53 seconds, and you having the ball. But take us from the timeout to where there's 53 seconds. What happens in the timeout? Uh, there is a <clears throat> there's a, a very slight moment that uh, of where mentally you have to put yourself in kind of the calmest possible area that you've ever been right, in. Right. And I understand that that uh, that moment I relish for. I want it, I want it, I want to take it, I want to own it. Um, even if Ron was gonna take it, I still was yeah. gonna do everything possible, but the play that we ran was for me to get Steph on me yeah, and to get switch, open for a right? pick and roll. Yeah. So once we got what we, what we designed, I'm thinking, I have to create separation yeah. for our team that that confidence that we need in order to get that defensive stop. Mm -hmm. If we miss, we understand that now they're on the on the right. attack. But if I hit this three pointer, it creates that distance and it and it was a it was a devastating blow to him. Yeah. So yeah. That, that shot was just I've been practicing it for a while, Coach. You've seen it you've seen it in practice a, a few times. And, no, I've seen it then. And uh, I, and I think um, we both know that I wanted I wanted that. Yeah, you were born to, make, to yeah. take that shot. Mm -hmm. And let me remind everybody, Kyrie Irving has been kind enough to join us on Basketball to Beyond with Coach K. I don't want to interrupt the conversation, but I also know you want to talk about the leadership that this man ha has grown into his role with the uh, Cavaliers as well. Well, you know, uh, uh, Joe, I, I, I saw it when he was a freshman at Duke. He was coming on a team that had won a national championship the year before, and uh, with Kyle Singler and Nolan Smith, and they and they accepted him right away. They wanted him hmm. to lead the team, and you know they're they're national champions. So he had it. He's got that, and then it's just a matter of putting him in a position where him to show it. And I think, you know, you're playing with the best player in the world, mm -hmm. and for you to be able to show that with that player. I think it's harder because it, yeah. not that he's hard. I'm just saying that you know, you're there right now. Yeah. So, uh, it, you know, how do you feel about the leadership aspect of it? Um, once I just accepted that 
the best version of me was going to be the best thing for the team, yeah. then it, <clears throat> I feel like it just opened it up for me not to feel like I was stepping on right, LeBron's right. toes or trying to undermine his leadership or not trying to follow at all. I think me and him built a, a great leadership where he stepped in when he needed to step in and I stepped in when I needed to step in and we were always had an open dialogue. That communication was the most important thing and you have that relationship because you communicate and you're honest with each other and you can look each other straight in the eye and tell each other what we want knowing that it's just for the betterment of the team and there are no personal right. emotions or, or ill will that we would have for each other then it just it became easier and then I was able to emotionally lead the team and just be myself yeah well you were and is it set in yet completely <laughs> no it hasn't I uh, it hasn't set in the way we did it yeah yeah I right. think the actual championship of us being champions has has hit me but the effect that we've never been done before the effect that we put on history and the yeah. game of basketball and and come how back. many people saw it it just that hasn't hit me yet. yeah come back <clears throat> three to one and no team had ever done mm -hmm. that one we're one in 32 yeah and to do it against a team that had broken and a great team not a good team a, mm -hmm. a great team and to do it on their home court twice <laughs> but especially in game seven it's yeah. spectacular it should That's make true. rio easier you know, well, like, I, mean, I, you know right. I i thought that i came back from 2014 world championships and i and i said i've, I've played in front of 60,000 people there's there's nothing ever that i can be afraid of at the world like during the world championship right, right. we had countries with 30,000 fans there going against yeah. us rooting against us and i thought that was the the highest level platform that i played at and yeah. now it's i played an nba championship and won and now i get to play in the gold medal olympics i'm oh, excuse me the olympics and, and do it with great guys like this i'm very excited the uh it's going to be announced and now you have a chance to win a gold just playing for your country i told a story earlier in the in the in the show where I don't know if you remember. You were born in Australia, mm -hmm. right? Oh, <laughs> I went out. <laughs> and you were trying to make a decision yeah, who as to, to whether for. who to play for. Mm -hmm. And I, you had committed to Duke, and <laughs> and I said, you need to play for the United States. And I, I think I believed it then. I, I hope I wasn't just telling you that. I said one day, you're yeah. going to be the starting point guard for the U.S. Olympic team. Mm -hmm. You remember? Yeah, I do. I, I, I remember, coach. I remember a lot of things you said. <laughs> yeah, but how cool is that? That it's gonna happen. It, you know. Oh, um, the journey has been very worth it. Yeah, from yeah. To, from excuse me, 2010 playing on the under 19 team to <clears throat> 2011 or 12 playing on the select, select team. team. You were on the oh, select team. Oh, it was great. Team. I'm yeah. I'm excited to beat up those young guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I'm I'm excited. I was that, I was that select <laughs> team member that was going against Carmelo, LeBron, yeah. Kobe, all the guys, and it was just so great to be in that atmosphere. And now we get to bring in another group of young guys that will be the future of USA basketball for years right. to come. And it's always, it's just a cycle and it's a family cycle that I'm so thankful to be a part of. Well, just so you know, you're part of the future of oh, USA yeah, I, basketball I, I, I for years. I have a few come. years, I have a few years, yeah, which I'm thankful you, for, yeah. We no, don't no. want you to go early from <laughs> USA no, basketball. No, no. It's not, I won't coach. Don't won't be coach. a one and done no, guy. No. <laughs> it's okay for Duke. <laughs> you should have gone. <laughs> Actually, you should have gone. I'm going to start crying. Uh, but uh, uh, the fact of you representing our country is unbelievable. I'm and uh, uh, I just want, uh, I, uh, I want you to know how proud I am of you. But uh, also, how much we're going to need you. Like, when you look at our team, the, uh, the Olympic team, you know, how do you feel about it when you see uh, the, the guys that are, you know, like, as a point guard, what, what do you see with the team? I see a, a vision of <clears throat> a style of play that will almost be, we can't, we can't, like, we, there's a, we can't mess it up. Mm -hmm. And I think we both know that, that, the opportunity that we have with the certain players on this team right. and the chip on their shoulder that they have from what they did in the regular season to the playoffs as well. There are a lot of guys itching to play right now mm -hmm. and itching to to feel what a gold medal feels like. You know, a lot of fans would say, uh, we're going to close off the segment here, but a lot of fans uh, wonder, okay, you just played against Golden State, mm -hmm. and now there are three guys on the team from from the 
uh, the Golden, Golden State. So uh, how do you guys get along? Oh. You know, now I know how you get along, but for a fan, <laughs> that would be hard. Like you just tried to beat the heck out of one another. Yeah. So now with Draymond and Clay and Harrison, how is that going to be? They're winners. Uh, yeah, that's they're, a good they're, point. They're winners, and they come from a championship team. And going against them, that's the the love of competition. We understood that we were beating each other up, and we wanted to tear each other's heads off. But that is the highest level that you that you're playing for as a championship and mm -hmm. having those type guys that are great character guys but also are going to do anything possible to win I'm I'll go any day with guys like that I love it yeah well it'll, it'll be great I mean as good a team as Cleveland or Golden State has this team is better absolutely yeah absolutely and and to have guys where you're running down the court and there's Clay Thompson and KD is trailing, and DeMarcus is inside, and Carmel, uh, holy mackerel. Yeah, it's very exciting. It, very it, exciting. I can't yeah. wait. Well, I'm glad you feel that so way. Thanks, I really appreciate you being on the show, and congratulations again, NBA champion, now an Olympian, mm -hmm. hopefully an Olympic gold medal winner. And by the way, for our fans, uh, for our listeners, you know, Kyrie won the gold medal in the World Cup mm -hmm. in 214 and was the MVP. So I just want another 25-point performance. That's fine, Coach. You, you, you get anything you want. All right. Mm -hmm. I got it. Anything Is you that want. all he asked for? All right. <laughs> That's it. All right. Thanks for being Thanks on, buddy. Right. And congratulations Thank you. once again right. on spectacular right. finals. Thank you. Kyrie Irving joining us. We'll come back as we continue. Coach K's Basketball and Beyond on Sirius XM.